Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Movie Monday. Sorry about the noise. My computer is currently exporting a live stream video from uh, from a game that I'm playing. Anyway, yeah, so I'm about to go watch Godzilla vs. Kong. It's 1.30 in the morning. I've got to work, but I start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so at least I can get some good sleep and still watch this movie. So yeah, it came out at midnight on Amazon Prime Video. I just got done editing some videos for other channels, so now I got the time to watch this movie. It just came out an hour and a half ago in the UK, April 1st. April Fool's Day of all days, but it's out, it's true. Amazon Prime Video has it for rental, 48 hours rental for £16. Usually, I wouldn't do that, but when it's a movie like this, that I've been looking forward to for a long time, that I really want to watch in HD, I have to watch it now. So, £16 for this movie, I will happily do. I love the MonsterVerse so far. I like 2014. I enjoyed Skull Island. King of the Monsters, I felt, was very enjoyable. They did cut away from monster fights too much, to be honest, but it was still good and visually beautiful. I cannot wait for this movie now. I've heard good things about it. I've heard people say it's the best in the franchise so far. I heard it's got the most monster fights so far. And that could be a fact more than an opinion. Like, there's more monster fights. I think that's actually true. But I really hope it's good. I heard bad things about the, about the human characters, but listen, I'm here for the monster fights. <laughs> Just like I was here for the monster fights when I saw King of Monsters last year, I am here for the monster fights, okay? I don't care how bad the human characters are. If you give me some great monster fights, I'm happy. I need some good monster action and some good visuals. So I cannot wait for this. I'm not going to talk through the movie because I want to watch it as if, as if I'm watching it for the first time in cinemas. It's not in the cinema, but it is on an LG 4K OLED 55 inch CX TV, which is a very good television. I cannot wait to see it on that. So it's not in the cinema, but it's on a very good TV. So that's, you know, it's, it's, it's not quite enough, but I want to experience it as if I'm watching it for the first time at a cinema. So I want to be uninter uninterrupted and just watch it. So I'm going to do that right now. I will tell you my quick thoughts after the movie, but uh, I think if, if I like it, I'll watch it for a second time and talk through it. But for the first viewing, I'm going to just watch it and I'll tell you my thoughts after it's done. And it's also two hours long, which is the shortest in the franchise, which kind of annoys me. But hopefully there's more ones to fight. That, that, that'd be great. I heard there is. So let's hope I'm not disappointed. And I heard there are other monsters in this. I haven't seen who. I mean, I know one of them, the obvious one, but I heard there's other monsters in this. I don't know what role they play or how long they're in it, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. We obviously saw a lot of monsters in King of the Monsters, and we didn't see enough of the other ones. We saw the four main ones, but the other ones... We saw them kneeling at the end, we saw a few other things, but not enough. So, looking forward to seeing what they do this time, but you know, Godzilla's there, King Kong is there, so... Even that is more than enough. And they're fighting each other for the first time in, what, 59 years? It's an epic rematch for the ages. Two iconic characters, face to face. Let's do this. Ah, <sighs> my internet cut off. 53 minutes in. Halfway through the movie, I'm internet stops. Of course this would happen, of course. I guess this is a good time to tell you my thoughts so far, which I didn't expect to do it in mid-movie, but here I am. Yeah, this movie so far is pretty damn good. Visually looks very nice, by the way. It's not even the 4K version. They've not even had that available for renting. It's just HD. But in HD, on this television, looks really good. But just even without this television, just the visuals look very nice in this. We have seen a monster battle so far, the battleship battle, that's in the trailers, where they fight each other in, in the sea. That is an awesome fight scene, that's all I will say. Um, the build up I feel is a little too slow, uh, that is one downside I feel, the build up is just... I want it to speed up a little. Like we have gotten monster action and it's so far it's been awesome, but uh, I feel like the build up should speed up a bit. The human characters so far just are not interesting to be honest. Um, but I like the kid. The kid can communicate with Kong through sign, through sign language, which I think is a cool thing, because we can hear, not hear, but we can see what Kong is thinking, and what Kong is, talk, what, what Kong is talking about, and we can sort of like, you know, we can understand Kong through the kid, so that bit, because of that, I, I think she's a good character, but the rest of the characters, not so good. Um, Minnie Bobby Brown's character, Madison Russell, 
she has a like there's like a, they're trying to find out info about what Apex are up to and it's her this podcast conspiracy theory guy and her friend from school some weird Australian guy I think yeah everything they're doing in this movie is just like no I, I don't want to see this just cut back to the other humans like <laughs> a lot of the humans are just not interesting but those three are even less interesting they're quite cringy to be honest but um yeah, aside from most of the humans being just not very good characters, the monster action so far is good, visually looks nice, I like what I'm seeing so far, I like where the story is going, I just wanted to speed up a bit more, I want it to go a bit faster, but I've just seen the uh, the ship battle and that was awesome, so I'm pretty sure things will speed up from here, and there's obviously Hollow Earth scenes to come, so uh, yeah. It's going to be non-spoilers for now, but it's going to be it's going to be spoilers when I watch it for the second time. But my initial review after I finish watching this movie, my internet comes back on, that'll be non-spoiler. So I'm not gonna say who wins or anything like that, but I will say it later in the video when I talk about spoilers. Okay, let's do this again. Three and a half stars, you what mate? Actually wait, only four reviews so far. I'm sure that will go up. That was good. That was good. Alright, so when I when my internet crashed half, halfway through, from that point on, the movie really sped up. It didn't really, like, uh, not necessarily sped up, but it just got better, got more interesting. Uh, it dwelled into Hollow Earth first, and then you get these final Hong Kong battles. When Godzilla fights Kong, it's unbelievably good. Um, they don't cut away anywhere near as much as they did in King of the Monsters or the original 2014 Godzilla movie. They show you straight action. Uh, a lot more straight action than previous movies and I appreciate that, I think it's really cool. Uh, the CGI I think looks fine. Um, for me, like, with CGI, you know, unless it looks really bad, I normally don't notice bad CGI anyway, but I didn't, I didn't notice any bad CGI here. There was a few scenes that looked a bit weird, but yeah, um, there was actually, I can't say that, I was going to say something about another, uh, something else. Um, no spoilers, which <laughs> I really want to talk about spoilers, but there's big fights in Kong, Hong Kong, and obviously, not a spoiler, Godzilla obviously fights Hong Kong in Hong Kong, and those scenes are really cool, um, and there's a big epic battle at the end as well, which is also awesome, um, I really like what they did, and uh, there are people had theories about this movie, some theories are true, some theories are false, I'll leave it at that, um, there is a clear winner, one kaiju do does win the fight, but the one that loses still gets to shine. Both monsters get to shine in this movie. I think Kong got more screen time, but Godzilla still got his his shine as well. But in terms of actual fights, even the loser gets their shine. Like, you know, you, I think Kong fans and Godzilla fans will both get something great out of this, regardless of who won the movie. Um, but there is a clear winner. You could see who won the fight. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> All you need is eyes and a brain and you will see, oh, he won the fight. He lost. One issue I had with the fight scenes, no cutaways. There were cutaways, but not as many. You could see properly, proper fights, right? But my one issue was it went too fast. Um, obviously it was a two hour movie, which is the shortest of all the Monsterverse movies. So I get why, you know, it would feel shorter. But I feel like the fight scenes towards the end, in Hong Kong especially, they went by a little too fast. Um, they were still really cool, really awesome. I'll rewatch this movie because I really love it. I, I, I like it. I really like it. And I I got it on like it's renting is like 48 hours, so I can watch it a couple more times at least. But I really enjoyed this movie. It was awesome to watch. It was unbelievably good. And... Um, yeah, I just felt it went by a little too fast. The fight scenes, I felt, I wish they were longer, especially considering the start of the movie, the first 40, 50 minutes, for me, went too slowly. And the ending, and maybe that's why I felt it was too fast, because the, the start was too slow. Maybe that's why. Maybe it just balanced out. But the ending did feel too fast to me. But it is what it is. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if it's my favourite of the Monsterverse yet, because I like all of them, to be honest. I love King of the Monsters, because of what they did with Ghidorah and Fire Godzilla, but this is up there, this is very good, very enjoyable, I recommend it, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had, but the human characters, 
my opinion hasn't changed. It's just the kid is interesting. The rest of them, not so much. But, you know, there are some things that happen to some characters that I'm happy with. That's, that's all I can say. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, aside from that, monsters are what I came for. And that's what I got. And uh, the monster battles were bloody good and worth it. Oh, look, the rating went up. Surprise, surprise. Do they have all of these movies or... Well, I don't think they do. I mean, actually, Kong is on now. Kong is free. Skull Island is free, but these are not. It has to have the, uh, see that banner top left going diagonally? It has to have that to be free. <laughs> I, I paid for Godzilla vs. Kong. It's £16 for 48 hours. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, time for my rewatch. It's spoiler territory. Before I do that, my rating is an 8.5 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. Some silly human parts, but the monster parts are what make the rating. But yeah, I'm watch watching it now. Literally just started this opening scene with Kong. We have officially entered spoiler territory. You have been warned. So let me start off saying that Kong's size seems to change sometimes. Maybe it's just me, but there are some angles where you look at him. There are some scenes where you look at him where just like, I thought it was bigger than that. Because when he's standing next to Godzilla, He's not that much smaller than Godzilla, you know? The Godzilla is, is bigger, he is taller, but Kong's not that far off. Kong, Kong is still huge. But there's some scenes where he looks a lot smaller. And that's like, he's not with Godzilla when these scenes happen. It's usually like the Hollow Earth scenes and a few other scenes here and there. I'm just like, wait a minute. Is it because it's zoomed out or is he smaller here? I don't know, I just feel like his scale was a bit off sometimes. It is what it is. <laughs> But it didn't bother me, but I was just like, wait, wasn't he bigger? So when I bought this, the maximum res resolution was HD, right? But literally a 4K version is released now, after. So you're telling me if I waited a day, I would have got the 4K version? And you know what? I, I still, I'm glad I watched it on, on release. But still, that's a bit annoying. Although it, it is on Google now. It is on Google Play Movies, and I got a voucher. Rent your next movie for 99p. That includes new releases. So I can watch it in 4K for 99p. Not bad, I'll use that at some point. <laughs> I'll definitely use that. Touching on the uh, human characters, one human character that I thought I would have an interest in in this movie was Ren Serizawa, who is Serizawa's son from, obviously, you know, we all know the famous Serizawa who sacrificed himself to bring Godzilla back to life and obviously a big fan of Godzilla who loves Godzilla. So I thought maybe his son might have an arc here, like about his father dying and he blames Godzilla or whatever, you know, like a motive. It's not even mentioned about his father. Like no one even mentions that's his son. Like there's, there's no mention. Literally, his name is Ren Serizawa. And that's it. There's no backstory regarding his father or anything like that. I'm just like... What's the point of putting that character in a movie if you're not going to utilize his connection to his father? I don't get that part. I really don't. Because you could make a compelling story out of it. His father died to save Godzilla, but he blames Godzilla for his father dying. Motivation to create Mecha Godzilla. Right? I don't know. It's, they, they just put him in. Like it's, it's like, I don't know. Important character. They do nothing important with him. Yes, they do something important, but what's the point of naming him Ren Serizawa if you're not going to, you know, use that name? And he dies in the movie. Like, oh my days. I, I like this movie, by the way, but that, that part to me makes no sense. If you're good, if you're gonna have a character that just dies anyway, what, and has no mention of story, there's no point of having a Serizawa in the movie. It's like they put him in there to sell tickets. <laughs> Apparently he's quite famous in Asia, I heard, as an actor. Not the character, the actor. But obviously people, Godzilla fans know the character, Serizawa. Or well, they know his father. But yeah, let's move on. You know all of those repetitive quotes in the movie trailers? Like all the previews had the same quotes. Godzilla's hurting people who don't know why. We need Kong. The world needs him, you know? Quotes like that that you heard in every single trailer, like literally every day was a, there was a new trailer and in every trailer there was those same two phrases and others constantly, right? 
All of those phrases are used up in the first 40 minutes and you know it's not like it's a big impact on the movie. Considering the amount of times those quotes are in the trailers I would have thought those words would have had more impact on the movie. They didn't. They, they just didn't. Oh damn it's the uh, battleship fight scene coming up. Be right back. Yeah, that fight was awesome, man. It went it went by so quick, even though it was actually quite a decent length scene. But yeah, <laughs> that fight scene was just awesome. This is when the movie started picking up. Up to that point, it was way too slow. They were building up, obviously, to um, taking Kong to the Hollow Earth, uh, Godzilla attacking Apex because Apex was trying to make Mech and Godzilla. It was just the build up was just too slow. You got that Godzilla scene at the start. You got uh, a few Kong scenes. But up until they actually fight each other on the ships, it's too slow. It's too slow. But the second half of the movie does make up for a lot of that, to be fair. Although it does go too fast, but yeah, <laughs> really enjoyed it. And obviously Godzilla won that first fight, and it makes sense. It's mostly in the water. Obviously when they're on the ships, yeah sure, if Kong can keep it on land, he has a chance. But in the water, fighting Godzilla in the water is like... Even King Ghidorah was on the ropes. Like, in King of the Monsters, he ripped one of King Ghidorah's heads off under the water. And he probably would have killed King Ghidorah if it wasn't for Ocean Destroyer that came and killed, killed him. But, yeah, Godzilla in the water is just impossible to beat. So, it's no surprise that as soon as he took Kong into the water, he defeated him. And he almost killed him. He literally wrapped him with his tail and dragged him downwards. And if it wasn't for the humans firing missiles, he would have, he probably would have died and suffocated. So, uh, yeah, the humans saved him from death and Godzilla won. So, as a fan, I'm happy. I'm a Godzilla fan, but I do like King Kong as well. I love King Kong a lot. I like both of these kaiju, but I'm more of a Godzilla fan for sure. So I'm going to cheer on Godzilla, but I love both kaiju. So, uh, it was a great fight to see. Regardless of who won, you know, I was going to enjoy it, but in the water, for Godzilla to win, it makes sense. So, yeah. Two more rounds coming up, though. I love everything about the reveal of Mechon Godzilla. Obviously, they reveal him early on, and they activate him, and uh, it's pretty cool how it's done, and uh, I really like it. One issue I've had is, he looks a bit skinny. Like, his torso, his body looks a little thin, but apart from that, Design is great. Um, I think I still prefer the original Mecha Godzilla from, you know, the Toho Godzilla movies. Like, I think that was just cooler. But this is really cool. Like, I wanted to see many things about... I wanted to see many monsters in the Monsterverse. Like, to see how they do them with these big budget special effects. And Mecha Godzilla is not disappointed. Aside from the skinny body, I like the design. It looks scary. It looks fierce. And when you see it fight later, it's, it's something else. It really is something else. You know, we got a bit of madness. <laughs> we really did. But yeah, it's cool. I really like how they did it. It's really, really cool. I love it. Also, did they go to Skull Island to get their skull crawlers? Like, why do they have baby skull crawlers? Where did they get them from? I should have went to the island, right? Did they get the remaining skull crawlers on the island? <laughs> I don't even know. But, but the way Mechagodzilla kills... This skull crawler is just crazy. So I like how it's revealed that the control room of Mechagodzilla is not actually in Mechagodzilla, which is, I think, obviously that's different from the Toho movies, but that's also smart from a human point of view. Why would you be inside that creature? Surely you'd be controlling it from the outside. So uh, Ren Terizawa, he controls it through like a cerebro type thing, and it's powered by King Ghidorah's head. I'm assuming it's the same head that Charles Dancer's character took at the after credit scene of King of the Monsters. It must be, right? Because the other two heads were destroyed by Fire Godzilla, I'm pretty sure. So I'm assuming it's that same head, except it's like, the skin is off, it's, it's a complete skeleton, but it's sort of like a living computer, and it's powering Mechagodzilla. So I'm pretty sure when Mechagodzilla, like, eventually Mechagodzilla awakens, and he, they lose control of him. I'm assuming Ghidorah's the one who takes over his body, right? Maybe that's why I was so angry and he was uh, trying to smash up Godzilla because that's King Ghidorah in a mecha suit. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, I don't think that's like a theory. I think that's true. Has it been confirmed? As soon as they entered Kong's, I guess, family's realm where he found his weapon and his throne, 
Ava Gonzalez's character started to get very annoying. Like at this point I was just like, I want her character and all her soldiers to die. Because, I mean, first of all, you're holding a gun at a child, okay? What, what are you doing? Are you insane? You would go this far. I mean, you know, villains usually do. But I was just like, oh. As soon as the bat started carrying them away, I was just like, yes, take them, take them. And when Kong murders her in that ship, just picks up the ship and just squeezes it and it explodes. It was satisfying. It was satisfying. I'm like, yes, you got what you deserved. Yes, you did. It really is insane how Godzilla literally, like, he drilled his way from the surface to Hollow Earth just through his atomic breath. He just, he, he, he made one big hole into the planet. That's, that's mad. <laughs> It's actually mad. It's so it's so crazy how gravity inverts as well in this hollow earth. Like it's not just inverted mountains, the gravity inverts as well. It's mad. It was really cool how they did that thing from 59 years ago in the last King Kong v Godzilla movie where King Kong shoved a tree up Godzilla's mouth. In this one he shoved an axe, his axe, up his mouth as he was about to breathe atomic breath. Cool reference, and it was done in a way that wasn't funny, it was just like a serious scene as well. This fight scene as well, the second fight scene between him and Hong Kong, like, at the start of it, it starts off with no, no, no music. It's just literally just them fighting. And it's really cool, no, no cutaways either. The music just does kick in as well, but you can tell it's a serious fight. I love when, I love fight scenes where the music cuts off, because that's when you know it's serious and it's high stakes. But yeah, this second fight is bloody awesome, and it's at night and it looks great, you know? Because the buildings are so lit up, you can see clearly what's going on. And there's not as many cutaways to humans either, so it's a really awesome fight to watch. So that awesome scene from the ending of the main trailer of the movie, where Kong jumps up in the air with his axe and smashes Godzilla in the face, he wins. That's why he wins that fight, so Kong wins the second fight, making it 1-1. So, uh, yeah, it was an awesome fight though, and... Uh, it also makes sense how Kong wins. How Kong wins. He can use his hands, his arms, and I think in a way that's an advantage. Yes, Godzilla has a massive tail that he can whip him with. He has atomic breath, of course. He's overpowered, but King Kong can use tools like a human. You know, he can use his arms, and um, I think it's really cool how it's done. And he had a great weapon that can uh, absorb Godzilla's, Godzilla's energy. So, uh, yeah, the, the way he won. It made complete sense like he had the ability to quickly dodge and do that thing so yeah it was awesome the main thing is though like obviously the atomic breath is a big factor because if that thing hits kong then it's a massive problem like kong's body is not going to be able to take a lot of that so like he's obviously got to fight him but he's also got to try and avoid that atomic breath which he does really well for a lot of the movie straight into round three they're fighting all this time and in reality they should be both marching to Apex to fight Mechagodzilla but they have no idea I mean Godzilla doesn't have an idea but Kong does not have an idea so Godzilla ends up winning and he wins quite convincingly I feel considering his atomic breath actually connected with Kong and it burned his back and then he just smashed Kong like he he ripped into his chest he didn't rip into it but he scratched his chest multiple times and just like yeah, that must have been very painful. <laughs> like, jeez. Then he stomped on him while he was down on his chest. Moved his foot around to cause him a bit more pain. Oh my days, that was brutal. <laughs> he was like, I've had enough, mates. I'm trying to go get Mechagodzilla here, and you're interrupting me. What are you doing? All right? What are you doing? Stop this. I'm trying to fight this guy, and you're here disturbing me. Godzilla, at this point, was just like, he's had enough. He's had enough. I'm gonna finish you now. I'm gonna go fight this guy. Okay, I don't need your help. Clearly he does. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, he pretty much kills Kong as well. Like the only reason Kong survives is because once again humans save him. So twice in the movie, Godzilla has Kong dead, <laughs> and both times humans save him. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's quite cool, it's quite interesting, but it also makes sense considering Godzilla's power level, but yeah. I, I like how they did it, I like how they did, a, they did a clear winner thing, like, they made the movie make a winner between those two monsters, and then they introduced a third monster. 
that was a good way to go. So when I said in a video, I don't know, I can't remember what video it was. I, I mentioned multiple videos actually. I mentioned what I wanted out of this movie. I wanted to see them fight each other. And I also wanted to see them both team up. And I got both. So I was delightfully satisfied, <laughs> if that's even a term to use. But I was so happy that they had them team up as well. Just like, oh yes, you had them both fight. You had a winner. You had winners for each battle. And then you had a mega battle where they get to team up and where Kong saves Godzilla and Godzilla saves Kong in turn. I just love everything about this scene. I'm not gonna talk through it. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm literally watching it now. The moment before Kong steps in when he jumps in behind. Oh, he's just saved Godzilla. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love everything about the final battle, man. But again, it feels too fast. That's the only thing. That's the only issue I ever had with this, with, with this final battle. I've, I wish it was longer, but oh my days. Also, before this, right, Mecha Godzilla was battering Godzilla. Like he was a lot faster, a lot more of a skilled fighter. His atomic, I don't know what sort of breath it was, but I think it looked like laser breath, red laser breath or something. A lot more powerful than that. He's got missiles, he's got weapons, and he's probably got Ghidorah's brain. Oh my days, this Mecha Godzilla is insane. Like, I do still prefer the original version, but this is an insane Mechagodzilla. Like, the amount of skill. Like, this is what I want to see in a high budget Mechagodzilla. Like, this is unreal. It's like, like I've seen reactions of it from like other reactors on YouTube, much bigger than me, much bigger than me. Millions of subscribers, right? I mentioned, I mentioned them say, it's like they put a UFC fighter in Mega Godzilla or or wrestling or a wrestler in Mega Godzilla, but it's so it it's so true. It's like they put a UFC fighter in Mega Godzilla. It's like they put a soldier in Mega Godzilla. Cause jeez, the fighting skill was crazy. We saw some mad wrestling esque moves as well. Oh my days, man! I'm so glad Kong stepped in because Godzilla would have died. Like Godzilla definitely would have died. I love how they, how they disable Megazilla's weapons by pouring water on a computer, like as if that somehow works a little bit. So I love the way the fight ends, I really do. Like you see them team up for a bit, which is great, but Kong, the one who lost the fight against Godzilla, is the one who gets to strike the final blows of Megazilla, and I love how it's done. Like Megazilla has him on the ropes, but then uh, Maddie and uh, the other two irrelevant characters, they do something relevant for once. They sh they shut down some of Godzilla's powers and then Godzilla fires up Kong's axe and Kong uses that to chop Mechagodzilla's arms off, chop his leg off, chop him down to the ground and then chop his torso and then rip his head from his body and he holds it up like that is a victory for Kong. He lost against Godzilla and then he did that. That's what I meant in my non-spoiler review when I said they both get their victory, right? Godzilla wins against Kong, but Kong saves Godzilla's life against Mechagodzilla and he kills Mechagodzilla in the most awesome way possible. Like, it's great. They both get their wins. This is why I said both fans of Godzilla and fans of King Kong will be happy with this movie because they both got their victory and I think that's great. Human characters throw away but monster action is great and I love how everything is done. I kind of want to see more of this Mechagodzilla because it's absolutely insane but oh my days was this awesome. It was awesome to me and I cannot wait to own this in 4k blu-ray whenever it comes out. I think it's I think it's got released out already so the thing is June 14th so I'm looking forward to uh, getting that 4k blu-ray. And uh, I need to find that 99p link. I lost the email. I need to contact Google about that. But if, if I get that back, I'll rent it on 4K again. But um, either way, I'm fulfilled. I watched it. This is my third time watching. I'm not going to lie. I watched it another time before watching this, before doing this. Because I love it so much. But um, yeah, it's, it's just awesome, man. It's just awesome. The battle just ended, by the way. Um, and obviously there's a scene where Kong Godzilla get up and it looks like they're about to fight, but nah, they just, I guess they just call a truce, I guess. Kong drops his axe and Godzilla walks away. It's cool, it's cool, and it ends with some nice music. So uh, yeah, 
that is my video on this movie I want to put timestamps like do video chapters but on this channel it doesn't work for some reason I do it on my main channel and it works but on here it doesn't so I'll try and make it work but I'll put timestamps in the description to help you with uh, when the non-spoilers are and spoilers are but anyway um, that is it for this week's movie Monday I'm currently working on a rewatch of the MCU Infinity Saga I'm on phase one still but Hopefully I can get that done soon. I want to make it all one video, although it's already like 40 minutes long. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it might be a long video, but that's coming soon. I want to get back to Buddy Cop movies. I want to watch Dark Knight Trilogy in 4K. There's some things coming up, and um, there's a Godzilla-related one coming up soon as well. There is something Godzilla-related coming very soon in Movie Monday. Stay tuned. This is your boy, Zavadov. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya. <laughs>